So what if Claude could instantly analyze nutrition of any food? Today I'm showing you my USDA Nutrition MCP access to over 600,000 foods from the official USDA database. So let's get right into the demo. So what I've got open right here is Claude Desktop. And before we dive into the query, I'm gonna show you a few different um, MCP servers I hooked up here. I've got USDA Nutrition that I built and a local version. I'm gonna disable the local one for right now and just show the hosted MCP server. So I'll type a query in. So how much protein in broccoli? I'm gonna hit enter is that you're gonna get a query for broccoli and you can see there's gonna be some results that come back, CTP server. And I've got a bridge that connects the two that's kind of allowing this happen. But you can see in here, this is really precise information. So this is coming directly from USD. I'm gonna go compared to spinach. And similarly, it's gonna utilize my server as well to do get this information. And we'll take a look at these um, logs in a second and some of the so i've got both of these in there and then you could keep asking it compared to peas and really the large language model is taking full advantage of this usda mcp protocol um, wrapper that i have around my service all right so while this is going let's take a look at some logs and i've got my gcp um, cloud run virtual with this hosted and you can see in here, you're gonna have different queries that have just happened for what we said, spinach raw, it's comparing broccoli. You can see them all in here. So let's go back here. So here we go. It's using the large language model from the data from the USDA, we've got a comparison of peas versus spinach versus broccoli. By the way, peas are the winner. Um, I'm gonna give you a glimpse into the local version. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn off my server version and I'm going to turn on my local and you may ask why do you want both well I'll show you because it gives you the flexibility of setting this up however you want so I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and show you what the configuration file for Claude desktop looks like server for GCP listed here which is also in the github repo and then I've got the server for the local which I've built the um, locally to grab from there as well. There may be advantages or you wanna make changes, you can do that. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the local version and we're gonna try something here. So I'm gonna go in there and say, um, how about pumpkins? And I spelt it wrong, but we'll see how it comes up with. Now it's doing a query. Now here I'm gonna look at what's happening down here, I'm gonna show you my logs. And you can see this is my local, right now running the fast API with a bridge to MCP. And you can see it's going in here and getting the pumpkin raw, and it's gonna there getting the nutrition for pumpkin raw. And secret sauce to make this work from an HTTP server, which is my fast API, which is deployed locally or in the cloud, is gonna be this MCP bridge file, which what it's got here is it translates the M MCP protocol and HTTP calls. So it handles all the asyncs communication beautifully in, Cl in Claude. So this is the only file that you need to download and run with Claude desktop to get access to the server of all the 600,000 foods and use agent tool calling. All right, finally, let's take a look at this repo. I've got all the documentation for you to fully reproduce this. Um, and use, and you just need one key and it's free from the USDA. Um, you get a cap of a thousand calls per hour. Just keep that. Submitted this to mcp.so within the directory of MCP servers. If you're interested in nutrition analysis or want to see how to build these um, MCP servers, check out the GitHub repo. Um, and you know, what else would you like to access and do with nutrition data and cloud? Let me know in the comments and I'd like to learn more about what you're looking for.